get started. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to meet Tina here. How's everyone doing? Well, first of all, I would like to thank you everyone who have followed my channel. I finally come back. You guys probably noticed that I have been absent for a couple a couple of months, maybe. And well, number one, some of you may have known already, I have traveled to Thailand for one month, you know. And number two, I wasn't allowed to post anything. <laughs> You know, some of my Sam are not aware of it. I got this uh, uh, Sam Illusionist here today, and I would like to introduce him to the audience because I think he's an amazing channeler. So let's welcome Sam. Hello, Sam. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, Tina, thank you so much for uh, inviting me to this interview. And thank you to all the viewers. I send you love and light uh, wherever you are. Thank you so much, Sam. Well, a little bit about Sam. I came across his YouTube and he channels uh, different archangels, starseed, you know, Palladians, um, Octurians. Who else you channel, uh, Sam? Why don't you just share with uh, the audience who you channel? Because you channel a lot of beings. Yeah. Uh, basically, you know, I, I mainly focus on uh, channeling uh, the Galactic Federation. Uh, there is the Ra Collective. Uh, I channel the Syrian High Council, the Arcturian uh, Collective, and um, I also channel uh, the Lemurians, the Atlanteans, and Palladians. Um, I yeah, Palladians, yeah, exactly. That's and Metatron, uh, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Michael. So these are the beings you know I regularly channel, and also I channel uh, other beings uh, such as um, you know Aster Command. And there are also other beings. Uh, I, I, I usually you know, share them on a Patreon because uh, on the Patreon, you know, people uh, want to listen to more uh, variety of beings. So that's yeah. the group. That's the group that you have, right? Patreon, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah I have. I'm, I'm gonna post group. the link. You guys, you guys gotta, you know, stay until the end of this video because you know you're gonna find him to be quite fascinating. If you wanna get some, you know, especially those who are interested in the star seeds and UFO and galactic center and Palladians, different star system. You guys stop here and check out his YouTube and just listen to what he has to channel. Okay, I think it's fascination. Better, better not you believe it, doesn't matter. Just open your eye, I mean, your mind, and just listen to it. Some of the stuff that is quite interesting. And I, I liked it. I enjoy your videos very much, Sam. And it's great having someone like you. You're very humble. I can tell your energy already. Someone like you to just come out, channel information with your passion, and you share information with, with the world. Love that, you know. But quickly, you know, I'm going to share with the audience your YouTube so people can see where you at and who you are uh there you go Ta-da! there you go sam awesome. illusionist just look it up guys on youtube right right after you listen to my uh uh, uh interview today i'm sure you're gonna go right into his youtube sam the illusionist all right so this is he's that's what he mentioned he channels uh this is metatron Okay, and uh, different being. For those who follow me on this channel and follow HTML, check this out. Okay, four banded ascension methods, and you're not, uh, uh, let me see, this one, you're not supposed to know. All right, so listen to this one, and this one also uh, about uh, Ishmael, his soul identity, all his past life, and his different uh, lifetime, different life experience. And you would go into a trance, right? Uh, Sam, I'm going to show people just a little bit here. Uh, you go into the trance on the bed. Oops, sorry. Uh, don't like this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip this ad, which I can't stand it. All right. So Sam's gonna come up on on his top here, and here you go. How funny, Sam. We're just talking about Ishmael. And it came uh, yeah. right into his reading, not the beginning. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Right? That's, uh, amazing. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to cut this short. So. Uh, you guys can listen to it because I know many of you uh, follow Ishmael 
right? You can actually listen to it yourself on your own. Go to uh, Sam's uh, YouTube. So that was interesting how Universe did. I went to your YouTube, picked the, picked the video that Ishmael was on that you channel about his timeline, his identity, his different lifetime. And instead of starting from the beginning, it went right to his session. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't have to look yeah, for it. Yeah. I thought to myself, I may have to look for it. So anyway, so my first question to you, uh, uh, Sam, how did you start it? When did you start it? How did you come about doing this channeling? Because for uh, yeah, someone, you know, being, uh, yeah. someone being born in India, I would assume you would channel and being like, you know, like in India, because, you know, I know, I, I know a lot of India people especially I grew up in Thailand, uh, they're very much into like the god and goddess of Shiva and, and, and uh, uh, Kali. And, but interestingly, you, you, you channel the galactic and archangels and, you know, the Palladians and all different star system. How did it all start? When? And how did you get into it? How did, did you learn or you just have this gift? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it actually uh, started by accident. So uh, basically, you know, it was around uh, two years ago. Um, I uh, actually was uh, listening to a self-hypnosis tape, uh, which is basically like a meditation uh, because I was, you know, learning uh, hypnosis, you know, as uh, I used to do magic, you know, I used to do street magic before I was learning about hypnosis. And as a part of the course, which I had taken, you know, I had to listen to a hypnosis tape. So I would be uh, sleeping on a bed and I was listening to this tape, you know, uh, suddenly some being, you know, like started to talk through me in the beginning. And uh, it, you know, if you listen to my uh, sessions, you may realize that uh, the beings that come through, you know, they have different types of actions. You know, they may speak different language. They may have different kind of voice and they sound a bit different than what I usually do. So uh, basically that happened. And my mother was actually like a bit scared in the beginning. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, they should try to kick you <laughs> out or send you to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what she did. You know, so uh, she told me like, you know, I should go to the hospital and I did a checkup and the doctor also was, um, you know, he had no idea, like, because in India, uh, you know, we, we don't uh, see channeling and stuff. Okay. So it's very rare, I think. Yeah. And uh, you know, not like how you do that. I was, yeah. Yeah. Not like how it happened with me. So uh, doctor, you know, like prescribed me with uh, something known as psychosis, which they said was a mental uh, kind of disorder. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, you know, um, yeah, but the thing was, you know, like it was not happening uh, while I was normally awake. Uh, it only happened during the uh, listening to that hypnotic tape. So I figured, you know, like something uh, was going on. So before I, uh, before I, you know, went ahead with uh, whatever they had, you know, told me to do like to take medication uh to you know go into like this mental rehabilitation center i decided like let me just you know like uh, tell my mother to record um one more time right so i told my mother to record them uh, record it with my gopro camera and then i listened to the message because my mother uh, speaks only local language uh, which is uh, which is not english so we don't speak english uh, in india unfortunately that's not that's uh, we speak nepali and we speak hindi okay uh, over here so i'm that's surprised that you speak english quite well for being in india yes yeah yeah you know uh, i think um yeah as a part of this you know soul mission uh you know i, I think you know i have a mission right now you know, and uh, ever since you know i was young you know i i was always uh i don't know why because my uh, my inner self you know my inner self uh, was always you know uh, guiding me to watch uh you know english movies you know or to listen to english shows and yeah. then you know i um yeah, fortunately, was also you know trained, uh, trained by the universe. You know, I I worked as a copy editor for two years, so uh, that you know gave me the framework of you know English language, mm -hmm. uh, and it solidified you know my grasp of English. And then yeah, uh, you know I worked as a translator as well. So so you were prepared. You were <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. on the path, a stepping stone to be where you're at right now to do all this work. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah looking wow. backwards, you know, like it makes sense. <laughs> Totally. You know, when we look back at our life, you know, as we get older, we can see like where we're at right now. It's really, they just pave all this path for you to do. Every career that we do is what putting us to where we're supposed to be right now. And sometimes it's not the kind of job that we like. We're like, Dang, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. But it's an experience that trained you to do this right now. It's fascinating. Yeah, you are. You are. You are so true. 
Yeah, because I actually like hated the job, you know, like the copy editing <laughs> job. <laughs> But then, you know, it helped me right now, you know. Right, because yeah. it's like, I mean, I'm like, wow, he's from India, but he's quite good with everything that he does with his video. It's amazing. And I can't even do that. So that's amazing. <laughs> so toward the end, your mom believes you, right? <clears throat> your family, did they yeah, believe yeah. you? Yeah, so uh, my mom, yeah. Yeah, right now, you know, like uh, my, uh, you know, mother, like, you know, believes, uh, you know, in what I do. And, uh, you know, because, uh, I mean, um, you know, we have, uh, I mean, in our own life, you know, like through our own family situation, we have seen uh, many, uh, you know, many of the things that they describe in the session, you know, like uh, they talk about, you know, karma or they talk about, you know, doing good to others. We have seen that in our life. So from experience, you know, my mother believes it, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's kind nice. of a different thing, you know. They, they have to experience to believe. This is this is something you have to experience to believe. And I totally agree with that 100%. You know, we are on this path, you know, Sam, in, in metaphysics and spirituality. People think we're nuts. You know, we say things, pick up things like this, you know. Now, the thing is, when I watch his, uh, uh, first time I watched, it caught my eye was Ishmael. You know, I, saw, I saw his picture. I go, hmm, let me check this out. Right. So I listened to it. I go, you know, it's kind of fascinating that Sam is able to channel on his bed and go back into many different lifetimes of Ishmael. You know, so I found it to be quite interesting and fascinating to get all this information. Then I watch others video that you have, which I really enjoy it. You know what you what you have shared with the audience and you should have a lot of followers that really, really appreciative and gratitude, even send you some gift. I noticed that you open up the yeah. packages from the from the audience who actually shipped the the gift to you. That's a beautiful. Now let me ask you. Um, you mentioned about starseed, light workers, and wanderers. Can you explain the difference between those groups? Are they different? You know, from what you have channeled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, from my uh, own understanding, like uh, what I have uh, recognized is that you know, like uh, starseeds and wanderers, you know, they can be classified as beings. Uh, who are from another planet, okay, like uh, star seeds, you know, maybe they are from, their origination is from, maybe from Mars, or maybe from Sirius, uh, or maybe from the Pleiadian star system, and they are here at this point, because, you know, uh, we know that right now it's the time for graduation, our soul is ready, uh, and whoever, you know, like is eligible uh, to enter the new earth fourth density timeline, they incarnate on the earth planet, so, you know, starseed are those beings uh, who are basically, you know, eligible uh, for graduation into uh, the fourth density new world timeline. And I have noticed that, you know, like uh, most of the people, you know, who watch my um, channel, they are starseeds, you know, because many of them, they ask me to do their reading. And I find uh, that fascinating that, you know, uh, my information actually, um, most of them uh, is listened to by starseeds, light workers, and wanderers. And the second category is the wanderers, right? So uh, basically uh, wanderers, you know, as far as I know, they are beings from higher density uh, who have sacrificed uh, their journey to come here as teachers. Uh, so like, you know, if you listen to Ismail's session, you know, they said that Ismail is also a wanderer. So mm -hmm. he had already, yeah, he had already graduated into the fourth density, okay? Uh, but then his soul uh, said that, okay, uh, you know, right now earth needs uh, my assistance. So I will incarnate here. So Ismail came here on earth uh, mm -hmm. as a wanderer. And that's a wanderer is a, a soul from higher density, you know, who comes to earth uh, to share the messages to people, uh, to share, to help other people you know, at this time. Because without teachers, you know, without, um, without someone showing you uh, what it is to ascend, how will you know this, right? Because uh, we have been uh, brainwashed by, uh, our society and right now you know you're finding out that you know whatever society taught us is actually like you know horrible brainwashing right if you go <laughs> yeah deep... all of them <laughs> the whole world <laughs> exactly, yeah 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 so we need teachers you know like that's why they uh that's why the wanderers there are uh you know like many wanderers right now uh mm -hmm. they are incarnating at this time because you know uh the earth is eligible for uh graduating into the density of love okay so uh the fourth density is the density of love and, uh, you know, to teach love, you know, like um, there have been other wanderers, you know, like, for example, Jesus is also a wanderer. So I had channeled regarding Jesus's origination in one of my videos. Uh, so he's also a wanderer. And there are other wanderers, like, you know, uh, teachers who come here and, um, you know, some of them, you know, they share the teachings 
and many of them you know like they by just existing okay like by just being on earth they are able to balance the energy okay um so not all wonders are you know like public you know like publicly teaching like you know me uh you know ismail or many others yeah i so, agree with that um, yeah totally wow now yeah. uh sam the fourth density you mentioned is that the same as fifth dimension yeah actually uh that's uh that's right uh you know many people refer to as the fifth dimension Mm -hmm. um, uh, but fourth density, uh, what I have channeled is same as the fifth dimension. Okay, so basically, um, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah, I have to clarify that because a lot of people uh, uh, globally they they are aware of shifting, you know, into fifth dimension. So I just kind of wanted to clarify when Sam mentioned about fourth density, that equates to the fifth dimension as well. So the next group is the light being, light workers. Yeah. Oh, light workers. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, from my uh, session, you know, uh, what I have known is that light workers are those beings, you know, who are interested in spiritual evolution. Uh, like if you look at your own, uh, you know, like friends or uh, maybe if you look at some people, they may they may not be interested in spirituality at all. Right. So they may yeah. incarnate on Earth, you know, they may do their own thing, you know, they may be interested in something else, but they never uh, look at spirituality. They never uh, try to find out who they truly are. And uh, what I've noticed is that light workers are those beings, you know, who find their interest in spirituality through their life. Okay, somehow, uh, I don't know what happens, maybe it's in their soul contract, but they find this inner urge to find the truth of who they truly are. And, you know, they begin to, um, you know, find out that they are spiritual beings. And these are the light workers, you know, the light ah. workers are an essential part of this, yeah. Oh, perfect. So you mentioned about wanderers. I'm mostly teacher. What about star seed? What are what are they here to do? Uh, yeah, as far as I understand, you know, star seeds uh, basically are here uh, to graduate. So, ah, uh, just, I see. Uh, just like yeah. So, so just uh, imagine, you know, there are like millions of souls, right? And uh, only those souls, you know, who are ready to graduate will come here at this time, uh, meaning that you know they are eligible to go into the fourth density because. Uh, from my channeling, they said that this occurs every uh, 75,000 years. So this graduation period is happening after 75,000 years on Earth. So after this period ends, right, then it will take another 75,000 years or even more, um, you know, for the next uh, graduation period to open. So uh, basically right now, you know, all those souls, you know, who are uh, star seeds who are eligible for graduation, they come here uh, to make that, you know, final choice to learn love and then with the lessons of love, they will graduate. Now, I know a lot of star seeds are watching my channel and follow my channel. They're going to ask, what do I have to do to graduate? What is the eligibility? You know, because they want to know how am I going to graduate, right? And when they graduate, does that mean they're not coming back to this third dimensional earth anymore? Is that right? Last incarnation? Is that what you meant? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, from my sessions, you know, what I've noticed is that when uh, for graduation, uh, the basic requirement, okay, it's the basic thing. Uh, you just need to learn love. Um, you know, well, now what does love mean? Okay, like love, uh, it doesn't mean like love, like in opposite sex, uh, like mm -hmm. love relationship. What it means is that love for everyone. Okay, like that's what they truly mean. And uh, what it means is that this un unconditional love. And this, this kind of love, you know, I, uh, I think, you know, uh, from my sessions, it arises naturally uh, when, you, uh, when you are able to, like, um, you know, sense the presence of your soul or this, uh, or this consciousness, uh, because all of us are consciousness, right? And when you are able to, you know, sense your consciousness, you become uh, stabilized in the present moment. And, you know, that uh, present moment uh, opens the, you know, floodgates of allowing this uh, explosion of love. Uh, in your uh, in your life, and uh, that is the you know most important lesson. Uh, many people you know they may be confused you know what they need to do, but that's it. You know it's very simple, but it's also very difficult because um, mm -hmm. to actually because, do it. I guess because we have so much separation that we're just separate from everyone, right? We're just you know it, to as far as to understand that all is one. We are we are one. You know, one collective. That's very hard for the human in the third dimension to really comprehend. And and because that separation a lot, I think that's why it's very difficult lesson, you know, for a lot yeah, of you know, graduate. Yeah, you know, uh, you know why uh, I think, you know, the reason why is because, you know, like, um, you know, we, uh, you know, we forget our past lives, you know, when we incarnate, 
um, you know, we forget our past lives. And, um, you know, one of the things, you know, that really helps people to realize that they are one is when they do in you know, sessions with me, you know, they, uh, they may get a glimpse that, you know, they were, um, you know, like incarnated in different types of bodies, you know, they may have been in China, they may have been in Africa, they may have been in America, you know. So uh, what that does is, in a way, it unifies, uh, in a way, you know, that separation, you know, kind of like, you know, that goes away or dissolves, you know, because when you know your past life, you know, um, you know, you, you, you have incarnated not just in this body, right? You have been, right. uh, um, you know, like, you know, many a times you have incarnated different bodies and uh, in a way it takes away that separation. Uh, and I believe, you know, this separation exists because, uh, because, you know, we only remember uh, when we take birth. So we think that, you know, we, we only came from our mother, right? Yeah. But actually it's, it's only our body, you know, which came from our mother. It's only this uh, physical vehicle. It's like a vehicle. So right. just imagine. Yeah. So what I do is, you know, I give an analogy many a times for people to understand. Uh, so just imagine you buy a, you know, new vehicle, right? So you can get a, you know, whatever design you want. So you pick one and then, you know, as you drive it, you know, you forget that, you know, you are the driver, but the vehicle itself. So that's what is happening here. So we forget that we are the consciousness, you know, we become yeah. confused. We have been brainwashed in such a level that we think that, you know, uh, after this body is gone, we don't exist or, you know, uh, we think that, you know, this body is our own identity or whatever. And, you know, people, you know, they have been throughout uh, uh, many generations, you know, like really attached with their bodies. You know, they may have wars because of the skin color or, you know, because, um, you know, uh, because they felt separate from the other person just because their bodies look different. Yeah. So that's, I believe, you know, brainwashing, yeah. Very much. Now you do, you talk about taking people back into the past life. It's not like Sam hypnotized people. You just saw his video. He actually channel your past life and it's just quite detailed. So Sam, what the session you do for people is called soul identity, correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit more on, on this session? What do you do? What people, when they get this session, what do they get out of that? Uh, you know, basically uh, in my sessions, uh, what I usually do is like people, you know, they uh, send me questions like, um, you know, uh, three questions maximum. So um, some people, you know, they want to know about, um, you know, some kind of decisions they are making in this life or, you know, maybe they are confused with what their life's purpose is. Uh, because many of them, you know, they email me for the purpose. You know, many of them are lost you know, like, what are they supposed to do in this planet, right? Because, you know, yeah. uh, our planet uh, Earth, you know, sometimes may seem very uh, unpurposeful, you know, even though they may be, you know, having, a, maybe, you know, doing all of those things, but uh, without uh, uh, this uh, spiritual knowledge of what your true soul's purpose is, yeah, uh, because your soul has a purpose here, okay? Uh, and when you find that, when people find that, you know, like, I think it's helped many of them, um, you know, I get uh, 12 months later also, you know, stating that, you know, that uh, session, you know, changed my life because I got a direction in my life and, you know, I now know what I'm here to do. And, you know, many people, they have changed uh, their ways. You know, some of them, you know, they contact me, you know, when they are suffering from addiction and stuff like that. And then I channel for them and, you know, based on their own free will, you know, they come out clean, you know, later on or, you know, because they find out that, that their purpose is something else even higher, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, just that, uh, you know, just to know your purpose, you know, is like, you know, like, uh, I mean, a very powerful thing because uh, you can, you know, even though, you know, your life, you know, may not be, uh, you know, going uh, as per the third density plans, you know, you may have some third density des desires, but you can still focus on your soul's purpose and to make sure that you achieve that, right? Because, um, and the other thing is uh, I share the past lives. Um, uh, basically, you know, I asked the higher self to, uh, share them their past life and what they do is they share uh, one timeline so uh, since there are infinite timelines uh, infinite universes uh -huh. uh, they can only uh, for our understanding they take one timeline so they go from linear linear linearity they go backwards from this incarnation and yeah. then share with you whichever is the most useful and I find that you know um, you know the the, the the they don't want to interfere that much in your life so they will share with you you know some bits and pieces of that information so it will help you but it will not interfere with your life so uh, that's one of the things that I've noticed you know and uh, they also you know share uh, about their uh, origins you know like uh, 
where they originated from in that timeline. So many people, you know, they find that they are star seeds. You know, they are originating from a different I'm telling you, sphere, right? I get so or, many people asking me, like, you know, they want to find out where they come from, their origin. You know, it's been such a fascinating. So I think that would be great for you to like do session for them with that. You can actually find out their origin too, right? With the channeling that you do. I think you do, you do, because I listen to many of your videos. Yeah. Yeah. So now yeah, 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 how, yeah. I'm gonna put Sam's email because that's how you can connect with him to do a soul identity session. You also have your group, uh Patreon, right? Patreon group that you know sam share like more of like information that you know maybe he doesn't share on his youtube and he gives out the weekly emails you know for all the new update that he gets you know from his channeling and it's only five dollars a month you know which is kind of very affordable for everyone all over the world doesn't matter where you're at and i think it's kind of cool that if you are interested i have his link down there for you to you know check out and join his uh patreon group so anyway let's get back sam so did you find out your origin <laughs> now that i yeah, want to yeah, know yeah. why your origin yes can you yeah, share with us yeah i yeah you know i found out that you know like basically uh my origins uh in one timeline were in the pleiadian star system so uh you know i originated there and you know i had a soul name you know what they said uh you know my uh case is that you know uh I had a soul swap. So that's what they said. So I have a two souls. So that's why it's confusing. Okay. I forget, you know, uh, because of the like two souls. <laughs> so have currently you origins. have the two. Currently you have a soul swap right now. Is that what it is? Yeah. Currently, no. I, yeah, I have a new soul right now. So previously, you know, I was just a star seed, right? So I was just a star seed, you know, before this channeling thing happened. And I think, you know, for this channeling, a uh, new soul came in. And that soul is actually from the fourth density. So it's uh, a wanderer. So it came here to maybe channel and share the message. So I have like two souls going on here. So uh, it becomes difficult, you know, like to exactly like share with you. Uh, uh, I got, no, I that, got yeah. it. I totally got that. You know, it's like a walk-in. Is that what it is? You know, some people call it a walk-ins here. Which walk -in, I yeah, came, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I came, I came across a few walk-ins in my life. You know, uh, I, I'm a hypnotherapist myself too, besides other things I do. So I kind of, wow. when you talk about hypnosis, so I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I studied with Dolores Candon too. Nice. When she first, yeah, when she first started, that teaching back in 2010 and she came to Los Angeles wow. and that's when I graduated from <clears throat> hypnotherapy school and uh, I, I heard about her so I studied with her you know but I studied with a, a traditional hypnosis institute as well you know regular hypnosis nice. yeah change the habit so I'm always also yeah, into yeah, that yeah. and do you actually did the session on Dolores Canyon as well so I saw that and yeah, 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 I did. I did. Yeah. So she's also a wanderer, you know, I found that. Oh, uh, yeah, she is. From the session. Know? And and fascinating, she's a lot more popular after her death. <laughs> it's amazing, you know. Yeah, amazing. that's so, funny, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, I think some people are like that. Yeah. They become more famous after they passed. Now, I have some more questions that I have written down yeah, too. Exactly. So that way, because oftentimes I don't write questions and ask and uh, by the way, we just talked about Ishmael. This year, he's going to uh, Conscious Life Expo, just in case you guys are not aware of it. It's going to be in February, uh, February, second week. You can just look up on the internet. But anyway, just kind of give you a little bit of uh, uh, information about him if you want to see him in person. Um, now, many people talk about, especially Ishmael and, and some, some spiritual teacher and leader, they talk about Enter into a 5D and solar flash to activate DNA. So once you get activate DNA, all these star seeds will become be like a Superman and remember anything and have all these six senses. Can you elaborate on that from your channeling, uh, Sam? Uh, you know, uh, from my channeling, you know, what I have noticed is that uh, they said that, you know, like solar flares, um, basically uh, what they are doing right now is uh, the positive beings, uh, they're attaching uh, this positive vibration or light energy. So whenever we have this like big solar flares coming in, there's this you know positive vibration energy and it is hitting uh, Earth. Uh, so this kind of you know uh, light frequency is affecting basically star seeds, um, you know, and to remember their purpose or to remember uh, who they truly are. And it is also helping you know like wanderers and other types of beings. Uh, so from my session, you know, I have also noticed that they have said. 
um, they are given a time frame of around 2030, uh, wherein they ex uh, wherein there is an expectation of a huge solar flash, uh, which will um, which will be like this um, uh, the new Earth uh, in a way arriving fully. So that solar flash uh, will be uh, will signify uh, that full uh, you know like kind of um, you know new Earth arriving kind of thing. So I believe uh, 2030 is. Um, well, that's 2030, time, right? You know, uh, 2030, right? 2030, exactly. right? This is so mind blowing for me. I'm telling you, I'm smiling. I'm like, this is because I, 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 I interview people, right? And you must be the only first person that can answer this question. And the reason I ask people that channels and, you know, many different people, I ask them what's going to happen in 2030, because I have hypnotized this young lady who's now a close friend of mine. And she also channel get information like you do like what you do in the bed is exactly how she does that's when i first nice. become a hypnotherapist we are back in 2010 and she would just come out and she doesn't remember like a different like you exactly like you. i can tell it's real and i never come across anyone like that until i saw you <clears throat> okay so i know it's only a few people wow. and she would tell me 2020 i mean 2030 it's gonna be like a new earth new positive you know so when you say that i'm like oh that's a confirmation because you know I, I i picked it up i felt that too but to have like you know you just say that this is just nice confirmation that you know this information i got way back 12 years ago you know so i was like wow, wow. this is yeah past fascinating wow sam this is kind of awesome. fun fun so i bet you're graduating this lifetime right <laughs> right yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah the sound just got out <laughs> yeah well you know what it is the reception sometimes we'll notice that sam is slow in answering because he's in india so i can see sometimes yeah, yeah. he frees a little bit and he may not hear us right away or hear me you know so yeah <laughs> now we talk about 2030 but right now 2023 I know you have some session where you ask about what's going to happen in 2023, 24, between this time period until before the time of 2030, especially right this year and next year. We get a lot of people talk about it, how the energy is going to be. Can you elaborate and share what you get, you know, from all your channeling about what's going to happen this year, next year, things like that? Uh, yeah, you know, I have done uh, one detailed session uh, wherein they have said, uh, given us 12 uh, predictions uh, which we can expect in one timeline now yeah. obviously you know like um, because uh, because you know uh, people's vibration they are changing and uh, you know like earth's planetary consciousness you know can shift any moment right so we can choose uh, any moment to awaken fully now based on uh, the choices the timelines may change uh, but you know i can tell you that you know one of the predictions has already come uh, happen uh, which one after i channeled a few days later they said uh, the Pope will pass away. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so he did pass away, you know, like, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, there are other predictions. Um, you know, so I, 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 I mean, you know, it now, depends on the... Let yeah. me ask you this. You just mentioned the Pope passed away. I have also noticed that a lot of royals around the world passed away recently. And as so many yeah. people passed away, the Pope, the Queen, and there's a princess in Thailand, and, and there's you know what's up with that why are like a lot of royals are passing away yeah i think you know like uh right now you know the energy is changing okay like yeah uh since uh the earth's uh planet uh, energy is um, merging towards positive vibration mm -hmm. so uh what happens is that you know as we uh, as the planet you know becomes more of a positive oriented planet so we can only allow a certain type of being to uh you know be here on the planet so uh, what they have said is that, you know, uh, as the earth enters more into this new earth timeline, right? So the uh, people with the old energy, uh, they they cannot, you know, like sustain themselves in this new vibration. So it will be too high for them. So they will like, you know, cross over and then they will be uh, shifted to a suitable planet in another third density planet. Uh, it could be anywhere in the universe uh, to, you know, maybe allow them to continue the lessons. Uh, but right now, you know, Earth is actually entering into this uh, new Earth, which is the vibration of love. And um, that's why, you know, I think, you know, many people uh, may cross over during this yeah. time period, you know, whose energies, yeah, maybe of the old type, 
Uh, yeah, so that's why. Makes sense. Now, earlier you mentioned about, you know, how the new earth changed right now. And so it's kind of pushed a lot of starseed, lightworker and wanderers to actually start their own path, right, Sam? Like what they're supposed to do. Like recently you just become doing this channeling and I noticed a lot of people start coming out. Even myself, I got out of this spiritual path for a long time <laughs> and now I'm back into doing and I felt right doing what I'm doing, you know, many things. So is that going with all the start seed? I mean, there's some people still searching, right? But I feel like these energies are pushing. All of them are walking their journey. Is that, are you agreeing with that? Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, as the energy uh, shifts, you know, it is forcing all of us, you know, to face, you know, maybe the catalysts or maybe the challenges. Uh, or, you know, the situations in life, uh, which will force, you know, all the star seeds, you know, who have, uh, you know, soul contracts to, you know, uh, make them uh, in a way, uh, you know, give them a chance to recognize why they are here, uh, to find their true soul's mission, and uh, to find the vibration of love. And uh, that's, uh, you know, I think, you know, like most of the star seeds, you know, uh, in their soul contract, they have it. So when they, uh, prior to the incarnation, they already have um, you know, set uh, certain events or trigger points. So, um, you know, for me, the trigger point was this hypnosis kind of thing, you know, which accidentally happened. And for someone else, you know, it may be uh, maybe interaction with some other person or maybe, uh, you know, broken relationship or maybe a healthy relationship or maybe, uh, you know, losing a job or maybe losing a friend, uh, you know, something like that, you know, like uh, is, uh, is uh, in place for all star seeds, you know, um, so that they can take full advantage of this lifetime and, you know, with their own free will, um, you know, they can choose the path of service to others and love, vibration, and they will graduate into the new earth. So I think that uh, what you said is very true that all of us, you know, we, are, we, have, we have been, uh, in a way, you know, I believe, you know, the, uh, the lockdown uh, kind of thing, you know, was actually a great awakening for many, uh, many oh people. Oh, my God. And, I uh, agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so it did it did yeah, change so, your life too <laughs> right with the lockdown right yeah my, my i started channeling you know uh right at the lockdown because <laughs> <laughs> i had some free time so i was you have in my all room. the time <laughs> that is so time. funny yeah. you know what just like me it's a it's a it's a covid you know exactly, I, right. I got covid i almost died and I said, God, if you want to take me, you oh. take me right now. Make sure it's not painful. I was in a hospital. You know, Delta, I got Delta, but first yeah. year. Oh. And then I said, but if I'm meant to do something, you tell me what to do. And I knew in my heart what I had to do already. You know, I said, you show me the way. I, I, I knew, you know. And, and because of that, I had so much free time because I was so sick for a while. I had free time to... It got me to do YouTube. It got me to start doing what 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 I'm enjoying doing right now. It's just funny to see that. Like, it, it just teach us that any kind of challenges or any kind of trauma that we experience in life, Sam, we take it as a blessing. A new door can show you behind that, you know, uh, uh, unexpected that you may think is negative events, but it's not. Because sometimes universe have to do that yeah. in order for you, for you to let go of all the old stuff or resistance, you know, that we're not. And then and then we just kind of be able to. And now I look at everything now in a positive light, you know, and it, it, it shifts a lot. COVID is shift a lot. People, so I'm thankful for that. You know, <laughs> all this bad virus is yeah, yeah, yeah. actively, <laughs> right? We have to embrace and love it. Like, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, love. For that. <laughs> now, let me ask you uh, uh, yeah. one, one question. Uh, you channel a lot of beings. What are your favorite? Do you have favorite that you do or the one that you do a lot, channel a lot? Uh, you know, um, you know, basically, you know, I, uh, I actually like, you know, uh, like the Pleiadians. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe because my origins are, they said that it's from Pleiadian star system. So <laughs> I, now, I find, now when you speak uh, of I, Palladian, I find a lot of like connection. Yeah. Now, when you think of Palladians, you're from yeah. Sam. I mean, you, most star seed, they come from different star system as well, right? It's not just one system, one star system that you come from. Yeah. There are many. Yeah. Uh, there are infinite, like, you know, uh, many star systems out there and, uh, they come from like different ones, you know, like not just from the Pleiadians. So, 
Uh, I mean, it depends on the on a on a soul's you know like a journey, right. and uh, it is different for everyone. So yeah. <laughs> So, so from what you experience in your channeling, what are the most common? I wouldn't say common, but the most uh, 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 group that you have seen. I know Palladian is one, Cyrus is one, right? So yeah, can you I have share? seen like Pleiadians, uh, Syrians. Uh, there are there are Lyrians from the Lyria, Lyra uh, mm -hmm. constellation. Yeah, Mars. There are from Venus, um, Venus as well, and uh, you know some of them are from Earth itself. You know, like they have been elementals, you know, and they have been in Earth itself. And uh, there are other ones from Arcturian star system, like Arcturus A and B and other planets. And they're from Andromeda, uh, you know, galactic system as well. And there are other like star system, you know, which uh, they only can, you know, like describe it in like scientific name, like <laughs> like NZC 1234 or stuff like that. You know what? Uh, I'm going to have so, you come back next yeah. time, if you would mind, come back next time and talk about each group. How about that? Would, that, would you mind doing that, uh, Sam? I think yeah, the yeah, audience yeah. would be intrigued in finding out about each star system, what they like, where they're from, because, you know, from your own channeling, you can share that. And I think i love for you to come back and do that, you know? That that may yeah, take yeah. about an hour interview for Sam Yeah, because share. I have to... Yeah, I have to also like, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, check the channelings about them because, yeah. you know, I forget, you know, like uh, if exactly. you ask me about a session, I don't remember. <laughs> so I have, totally, because you know, to... uh, after your session, you come out with the paper, you listen to your session after your session, yeah. right? And I, yeah. I know that you won't remember because that's exactly the same know. thing as a friend of mine. <laughs> she won't remember anything. So you write down and you explain to the audience what they said. And you, you exactly. also learn from your own channeling as well you know yeah i mean i learn and apply <laughs> i learn and apply you know what they have been teaching me and uh yeah i mean it's uh, it works you know like it is amazing <laughs> that's that's kind of amazing that you know i i love that because you're so humble and you actually uh uh share with the audience what you learn from each session you know and that's how we grow is we're learning from our own experience you experience you you give service to other with your passion your 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 pure heart intention and then you also share what you learn from it you know it's not like oh you learn from me you share like oh this is what i learned which is quite humbling that you know i i, I love about watching your energy so i is when i invite you it's not about you be able to channel i i like your energy I watched it. You, you, it's really you. It's very really yeah, come from you. your, yeah. It's really come from your intention. You know, you, you feel you really want to help. Yeah, yeah. You really enjoy doing this, and that's what, what I, I, I feel about your energy, and I love that. You know, and I love to like, oh God, you know. Yeah, thank you. Come and share my channel. So Sam, um, a lot of people also uh, uh, um, very um, interest in wanting to know how to go about graduating so you said to learn about love but what practice that you get from your channeling like a quick practice that you can give it to the audience some of them who may not understand because sometimes they still worry about their kids their family if they're going to be starseed or if they're going to graduate and go into the fifth dimension with them as well or fourth density what would you say for that advice that you have uh you know uh you know like actually like you know, there are uh, in like few practices which you can do, but I feel uh, that you know it. Uh, you can try a few of them. Like you know, one of them, one of the practices. Uh, what they have said is uh, every moment, right? Uh, uh, you know, if you are self-aware, you can either choose love, or you can choose any other emotion or vibration. So um, you know, so whoever is watching uh, this show or wherever you are, uh, you may be sitting in your bed or you know, like listening in your table. Um, if you are uh, at this moment, you know, choosing the vibration of love, you know, you can just focus on your energy centers. And, and if you are choosing love, you'll feel this loving, cozy vibration, right? And if you are feeling anxiety, fearful of what to do tomorrow or what to do next, yeah. uh, then you are not choosing love. So um, one of the methods is every moment, you know, be self-aware um, of what you are choosing, you know, like, and by that, you know, you can uh, change, uh, you know, choosing love in each moment and that also applies with every interaction you have with another person uh, so you know try to uh, choose love in each moment you know um, and then uh, whatever kind of action emerges out of that will be the best action right so that's one method 
And I think, you know, like you, you need to test which one works for individual. So I, I like person. what you just share, awareness and feel how you feel. I, I love that. I love that uh, advice the most. Yeah. I think yeah, you, so that, that, yeah. that will teach everyone to be in the moment and be aware of their feeling, your, their thought all the time, which they catch it right away. You know, and don't let it get yeah. way too far. Don't let it get way too far away. I don't want to kill another person. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's true. Some people may have that, like you just want to choke someone or whatever because you let your emotion, your thought just go too far from not having that awareness <laughs> that catches right away. You know, or cuss at someone or, you know, road rage. People drive and cut you off. And you're just like, ah, yeah, I've seen that quite a bit. So it's funny. And you yeah. know, I, I I I actually had one more question for you, and it just kind of slipped my mind. Um, but you know what, uh, uh, Sam, I definitely would love for you to come back and talk about different races, Octarium, because a lot of people also want to know that even origin of Earth. You know, uh, those are very quite fascinating from the Egyptian time, Lumerian time, Atlantis time. Obviously, a lot of people don't talk about Lumeria quite as much as Atlantis. You know, so I want to know what do you know why. Uh, you know, uh, I uh, in my sessions, like uh, I have a lot about Lemuria. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. What I've noticed is that but you know, like, other people uh, don't. They <laughs> on on YouTube, you get a lot of uh, Atlantis. But I feel Atlantis is like masculine energy, and Lemuria is an energy, uh, feminine energy, which being suppressed for such a long, long, long time. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be. You know, uh, that I, I I have no idea about that masculine mm -hmm. energy. I haven't asked about that, but yeah, uh, what I know from what I know is that you know, like the Lemurians, you know, they were, um, they were before Atlantis. Yeah. So, the, so they were the civilization prior to Atlantis, right? And then, uh, you know, from Lemurians, you know, uh, in one of my sessions, uh, they had this battle with the reptilians, and uh, you know, they were being guided by the Pleiadians and other high density beings to you know ascend higher, right? At that time, around. 40,000 or 50,000 years ago. And um, uh, the, the, the reptilians, you know, they were able to, with the help of the Orions, you know, sink their lands. So I believe, you know, like it also is, uh, uh, there is a link with, you know, some kind of mythology. Um, yes. Because, um, yeah, so some of yes, the lands. Yes, yes, I agree. Fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so they we, have been sunk. Yeah. I don't think it's just and, mythology. I think it's, it's, it's real, right, Sam? Exactly, yeah. Uh, because you know like um you know i have noticed that you know like if uh, if they document like one thing one time right uh, well that could be you know, someone's imagination but what if you know like everyone is documenting the same thing like you know uh, multiple times you know i have seen that in multiple times i mean they have been talking about uh, you know floods they have been talking about uh, sinking of the lands yeah yeah so so it has to be true you know because uh, if it's being talked about multiple times you know there has to be something going on there Otherwise, yeah, yeah. you know, how can it be like, you know, different people uh, find the same information? So different um, mythology, different religion as well. It's, it's the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, let me yeah. ask you, uh, uh, Anunnaki, is Anunnaki from Orion's constellation? Uh, no, no, uh, that's not uh, what I have received. So, uh, uh, so you know, the, the Orion's uh, constellation is like uh, different. Okay, So the Orion's, you know, they are. Uh, different kind of subspecies of uh, these uh, uh, beings, and just like humans. Uh, yeah. Now, not all, not all the Orion entities are negative. Okay, just like human yeah, beings. You know, yeah, we I have agree. Some, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the Orions, you know, which we uh, usually hear in the sessions, uh, they are the negative uh, beings. You know, uh, because you know they are trying to interfere with the Earth's, uh, you know, agenda of, uh, you know, preventing Earth from entering the new Earth. So, uh, so it's not like you know the whole orions are negative okay it's not that the whole uh, whole reptilians are negative but you know a certain uh, subspecies you know like certain uh, faction uh, who have chosen the negative pathways just like you know in human uh, society there can be uh, people who serve others and there can be some groups who uh, do not serve anyone right so right. same thing and uh, from the anunnakis you know what i have noticed is that you know their uh, i think their origin was uh, from my session if i remember correctly was from the planet Nibiru. So, Nibiru, uh, yeah. yeah, so that's what I have. Uh, and what, and that, what constellation that Nibiru uh, exists in? Because it's, 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 it's no planet anymore. Nibiru was destroyed, correct? Uh, you know, um, from my sessions, you know, what they have said is that uh, Nibiru, uh, you know, actually was uh, put into a different dimension. So in 2012, okay, 
uh, one of my sessions said that in 2012, you know, Nibiru actually, the Anunnaki's, you know, like the negative beings, they were trying to take the Nibiru planet and smash it with Earth, right? Yeah. So in 2012, that's what the Mayan uh, people were predicting will happen. Uh, but, you know, like the Galactic Federation, uh, they interfered uh, with that. And then uh, they have like taken Nibiru to a different dimension. So it's not uh, in this dimension. So we cannot see it. So mm. like you said, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't uh, like right now, um, you know, like maybe, you know, if they, uh, if the Anunnaki's, you know, like try to bring it back, it can come. So, yeah. So now um, let me ask you from your channel as well, which group of this, you know, uh, uh, being are the one who's taking over this third dimensional earth at the moment? Are they Anunnaki, oh, yeah. the Orions, or they're reptilians? Because a lot of people talk about reptilians and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, from my uh, sessions, you know, I've noticed that uh, the negative beings, you know, they have joined forces, you know, much like the positive beings, mm -hmm. uh, they have this galactic federation, which is a collection of positive beings, right? Mm -hmm. uh, different from different uh, planetary spheres, from different densities. And uh, the negative oriented beings are also the uh, collective of Orions, um, you know, um, Orions and Anunnaki's. Uh, there are reptilians and there are also greys, uh, which they use as robotic entities. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, you know, the greys are the ones, you know, which we, uh, which uh, the UFOs, uh, yeah. which usually come on earth. So they are like robotic entities with consciousness in them. That's what I have received from a session. Uh, and these are the main, um, you know, groups who are uh, as a collective of negative beings trying to interfere with uh, the earth's, uh, you know, uh, that race mm -hmm. for uh, in putting negative uh, ideas or fear or whatever mm -hmm. and preventing us from ascending yeah right because right now we're supposed to they know that the earth has to ascend and they're trying to like slow down and not so they what they put everybody in fear that's the thing so a lot of people are fearful including a lot of star seed as well you know it's interesting to see a lot of people are now opening up and we open up to this subject that we're talking about now they you know and 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 they they wake up and and I see a lot of that waking up right now, you know, which is kind of amazing. So Sam, I wanted to ask you if you have anything you want to share with the audience, you know, about your work, your YouTube. I know we spoke a little bit earlier, but I would like you to share with the audience from your own words. Uh, yeah, you know, um, basically, um, and uh, you know, if you find time, you know, just go through the sessions. Uh, I have a lot of sessions, like, you know, 176, I think, you know, like they are freely available on my YouTube channel. And um, <laughs> you, know, you, you can see here learn. that I am going to your channel right now just to show the audience again. And you oh, can yeah. see, you can see, like, look, I have a lot of people who follow Dolores. You can see the his channeling about Dolores and uh he has tons of channeling that's fascinating. You can actually listen to it. Look, this is Sam. And what about Michael Jackson? Life-changing prediction this year in 2023 yeah. that you would talk about. So if anyone wants to listen about prediction, you can go here. I think it's the Metatron who channeled that information, right? Or Palladians, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think it's Palladians, yeah. Yeah, the Palladians. So this is many of his session here. I mean, he has tons of it. You can look. I was just showing you the one that I happened to click about Ishmael since I have interviewed him before, but I can just go back and show it to you. And now when people want to do soul identity, Sam, they just email you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can just uh, email me on Sam the Illusionist one. Uh, at the I'm going to put his comments. email too. How oh, about David? Uh, yeah. I like David Icke too, yeah. you know, uh, listen to yeah. him. Long, I have, long yeah, time I ago. about David Icke too, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's funny. I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, uh, I think what opened me oh, up yeah. is his book. Uh, way back in uh, year 1999, I picked up his book and it was just kind of hard relief at the time. Um, so, oh, Sam, nice. how long is the wait for the soul identity uh, um, session that people will email you and and wait for because i know you have a wait for that <laughs> oh yeah yeah um i know uh what they can do is like you know send me an email and then uh if i have a like free uh slot available uh i'll just you know send them 
uh, you know, uh, the details. You know, I just take donations uh, um, based on free will, so they can donate whatever they can want. Oh, to. that's beautiful. And, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Even my Patreon uh, is like based on donations, so you can join at a minimum of one dollar. Um, uh, that's the minimum in Patreon. It's based on donations, so guys. I have, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> you cannot say that is. I mean, normally he charges five dollars, but hey, you can put any amount one dollar. Yeah, even yeah. In I mean, I have a lot of Thai followers too. Even in Thai money, it's really nothing. You know, everybody can afford yeah, one dollar. Yeah. You know, so you can yeah, actually yeah. join his his Patreon and uh, get some information from him. You know, and yeah. uh, this is amazing. And so, guys, I'm gonna put his YouTube channel link. Put his his email. You can you know ask him about soul identity session or anything, or even join his Patreon to you know get more information that he doesn't upload on YouTube. You know, sometimes there's sensitive stuff that he uploads yeah. there. So you wanted to follow that because I think he's he's very fascinating, and you know he got a lot of great information that he can share. Sam, I'd love to interview you again about, you know, the origin of the earth and the Lemuria, because I noticed Lemuria has been talked much about on the mostly Atlantis, but I always so kept getting Rumelia all the time. And I also felt the same thing that there were before Atlantis, you know, way before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it's feminine energy, so it's being suppressed. We are down, okay, yeah, so yeah. now it's coming back. And I'd love for you to talk about that more, about Star System, because a lot of my followers love to hear that, you know? Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, in the future, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, do, do that. that you know? Do that. Well, guys, I would like to thank you, Sam, for being here. Sam, the illusionist, you know, for his, you know, time and his kindness for sharing this information for all the way from India. If you're India, if you're going to India, you know, contacts. <laughs> So anyway, I would like to thank you for yeah, following yeah. my channel. If you like this video, you like Sam information, guys, you know, share this video, share Sam's video, go to his YouTube, click like, you know, subscribe if you haven't done that. You know, Sam, with the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much for your time, you know. Yeah, and, thank and, you so much. And and share this, share this with us here. You know, I mean, yeah, thank, thank you.